Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the mess that's ongoing at GWS with the all the concussions and I guess injuries and how you can I guess mini plan for the next couple of weeks about how to get GWS players in and also almost mark them as a trade out as well in the near future to gain some valuable cash as there will be some changes in team structure I guess or players coming in getting different midfield splits and stuff like that so before we get into it remember to like and subscribe and let's get into the video so if I switch back across here I've got it lined up here so that you can see the GWS scores from last week so you have Toby Green here, and I think he's one that might profit from coming the uh, Whitfield, Kelly, even Weir, I think, is going to get um, delayed concussion um, out for a round. Then you have um, someone else even got injured. I'm not 100% sure, but it was, it was pretty bad. So obviously you have Kelly injury, you had... The Whitfield injury, which kind of sucked for me, I got burnt finally. I don't, there weren't many coaches that didn't get burnt across the round with how many injuries there were to premiums. I guess I thought my luck was with Cowan getting subbed out due to cramp. But. So, Toby Green's a guy that I think he will profit the most out of it in that he could go 100 for the next couple of weeks. The only problem with that is that you have him at 100 and then he's sort of almost in that premium range so it's going to be really hard to get up to I guess that um that other play those other sort of players and it's just another trade out where a guy isn't you're really just bringing a guy in for a couple of weeks of getting points rather than a couple of weeks of getting a lot of um value in price changes and stuff like that like price increases so I think he's probably even though he might score the most out of all these guys he's probably not the best option Cornelio I think will have a really good role these next couple of weeks but there isn't really a forward I guess how do I put this there isn't a forward <clears throat> that's gone down injured in the whole comp really from memory that's around that price premium range compared to the premium midfielders and even defenders that have I think has defenders gone down but it's mostly premium mids that have gone down so you'd almost have to play Colts as a midfielder for those couple of weeks this will get I think he'll average 115 over the next um, he'll get 115 next week against the Eagles then he has Carlton at Giant Stadium and if the conundrum now is that GWS played, um, have a 13 day gap between round one and round three, and concussion protocol, I believe, is 12 days minimum. So, it being 12 days, if it is 10, which it could be, then this is, uh, this doesn't matter. But if it is 12, then if there is an, um, if they don't pass it basically beforehand, then they're out for two weeks, and I don't think you can hold any of these players, and I think these more switch-up options become way more valuable if it is two games. Ward, I just don't think he has enough um, output in him, even with the increase that he'll get. Josh Kelly got injured late, so and he's out for next week already confirmed, so you can't use him. Callahan will be a really good option, I think. He might get more in midfield time, but I do think that all show could go for Lucky Ash or Ash. And then that'll mean that I guess you don't get the value out of um where is he? Is he on here? Even as a they don't have Ash as a midfielder. Or did he, he might have played, did he play in the end? There he is. He played in the end and got 55 from from 90% time on ground. So he's not the best option actually now looking at it. So there's that. I'm just looking at some of these defenders here, but there wasn't really much. You might see someone debut, but 
I think this is a week, especially for us, to take the options of players like Chandler, Pedlar, um, even Uland or Davey if you don't have him, Philippu if you somehow don't have him yet. Uh, Wilmot looks pretty good for break-even wise. Um, Cowan's all right. Wouldn't really necessarily go. And if you don't have Sheasel, he's almost a must at this point. As he's basically destined to go up another 60 or 70k in the next week or two. And he might be the first rookie to break. Well, he's going to be the first rookie to break 400k. But he might be the first rookie to almost. You're almost guaranteed that he's going to break like 500k. Just because that 118 stays in for another round or two. I think it goes a three game average. So you have him for a while. But, yeah, basically back to the GWS guys, there isn't really, other than Callahan and Cummins didn't, I'm glad that they didn't go for him because he didn't have a good game at all. But um, there isn't really anyone that I'm necessarily looking at because Callahan, you have Warple that's sitting around that price tag. But I think Callahan might be probably is a better option given that he probably has more job security as he's a wingman and an on ball if injuries so and I think he there's no real midfield uh no real wingman that can take him out of his side and he's playing really well at the moment so I think Callahan has the job security Warple probably has a little bit more upside but I think Callahan's the only real option out of this group to go for Maybe you can go for Brett Daniels, but I think at his price, he's just a little bit too expensive, especially because you've got five tackles from a forward's pretty big, so there isn't much room there, I guess. And, yeah, there's not much others. If Himmelberg was chucked chucked down back, it would be a lot better, but doesn't look like it. I think Weir is out with a concussion. May, might not be, but I think he will be. And then um, there isn't really anyone else. I don't know if anyone will debut. Maybe they have to chuck Cadman down in in next week if he's ready. But yeah, the GWS crisis has, I guess, um, hit us. And if I go back here, that's, I guess, it for that. There isn't much more to say, I guess. Um, GWS are... One, looking bad in itself, I guess, even though they did get the win over, who was it, Adelaide in the end. They didn't look, well, I didn't actually um, catch this game, but I don't think they were, I think they could even potentially lose to West Coast, even though West Coast are pretty bad just because they have so many injuries to key players. They'll get thumped by um, Carlton probably, but... They have a pretty good schedule early up, so they might actually end. Now looking at it, they might, they might um, start the season four and one or three and two, and then they have a hard patch where I don't see them winning a game for a month. So the GWS um, midfield, they're looking at it further. There isn't really an option to go to other than if you wanted to get Callahan in for maybe Sheed if you didn't have any problems. But other than that, you don't really have any options. And that's the video, I guess. So I'll see you guys in another video.